Hello, hello, hello everybody. 2021 was tough and 2022 might be even more tougher if you want to get Canadian PR. So in these changed circumstances, what are your options if you still want to go ahead to get the Canadian PR in 2022? Canada's multi-year immigration plan is out and we have seen that the quota for federal high skill class has been reduced by 50%. So with this changed circumstances, what should be your new strategy? What are the options if you want to still go for the Canadian PR? We'll discuss in this video. But before that, I want to quickly talk about a sign of a good news for many of you who have been waiting for the express entry draws, especially all those CEC candidates because the Canadian Immigration Minister Sean Fraser has hinted that it might resume in the near future. So all of that in this video, right after this short intro. Okay, a good sign that I was talking about, or I can say that light at the end of the tunnel, I won't say it's an announcement or any update or any news, but because it is coming directly from the mouth of the Immigration Minister of Canada. He has said that the CEC draws for express entry would be resuming very soon in the near future. Now, what does this near future actually means? It might be uh, two weeks, it might be two months. We don't know about it, but you should definitely hear what he had to say about the CEC draws recently in an interview that was uploaded on YouTube. A lot of the, the challenges um, that, that our audience is, is facing isn't specifically related to, to the um, Canadian experience class and questions around, probably in agreement with a lot of what you're saying, Goldie, but questions around when, when will it restart? You know, the delays that we're seeing are worrisome. And so is there any more that you can share on how we're going to specifically address it? Sure. Uh, look, uh, sorry, was that for Goldie or was that for me, Jenny? That was for you, Sean. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so look, uh, we, we don't have an announcement on the specific date of the next draw, but I can reassure you we're looking at uh, resuming draws in, in the near term on the Canadian experience class for federal skilled workers. Okay, so you heard it right. We don't know when, but you may see the CC draws or maybe the FSW draws also in the next maybe two weeks or two months. We don't know, but in the near term, we might hear some good news. Okay, whenever they conduct these draws, one thing is for sure that the cutoff score is going to be very high. That was there in that uh, memorandum as well. The cutoff score is expected to be somewhere around 500 throughout the year. Okay, even if we are uh, optimistic and we hope that the cutoff score will drop after the initial few draws, it will drop again to let's say 490s or 480s. Uh, even then, what should be your options in that case if that happens then what should be your options what should be a revised strategy so i'm not going to talk about anything new i'm going to talk about three things first of all the pnps number two the study route and third one is the french language now many of you you are very knowledgeable by now i know you, you've done a lot of research so if you think that you know about all these three points then you're free to skip this video uh, but all of you who are still interested, uh, let's just uh, keep talking. So the first point about PNP. As we have seen that PNP draws never stopped throughout 2020, 21 and now 2022. PNP draws have never stopped. So until now, let's say you had a good score of 470 or 480 even. And uh, you were not thinking of about any PNP uh, programs, then it is time that you should definitely look for those PNP options. Many a times I get messages from you guys where you ask me that, okay, I got this, uh, you know, PNP nomination. Should I go with it or not? Guys, it's a golden ticket to Canada now. You should definitely grab it. You should not think twice about any province. If you're getting the um, nomination from any province, you should just grab it right away. I know the biggest challenge in cracking the PNP nominations is about a job offer and uh, many of them actually give preferences to those guys who have got a job offer from their provinces but not every uh, province is actually like that 
even in uh, every province there are certain streams which actually you know talk about uh, those candidates who haven't got any job offer they are still eligible i actually made a specific video about it i'll provide the link in the description box below so you can check that out don't think about just ontario quebec british columbia think about the other provinces as well uh, all the other provinces if you are able to get a uh, pnp nomination from any province i would say this time you should grab it from both of your hands okay now the second point is about the study route so you get the uh, study visa first of all and then after that uh, once your study gets complete you get a work permit and then after that slowly slowly you get your uh, permanent residency this would be a lengthy process but there are very good chances that you would actually get the PR now we've talked about it in the past in many videos this is the safest way of getting the Canadian PR now if you don't have any PNP nomination now I know it is not easy for everyone to come to a different country to study maybe you are let's say above 30 years of age maybe you have a kid uh, maybe you don't have enough money there are all those constraints but if you can manage all of that then coming to Canada on a study route would increase your chances of getting the Canadian PR down the line very high and here I want to talk about one point specifically I made a video about it I'll provide a link for that but if you want to come to Canada and if you can afford then you should definitely go ahead with the two year study visa not the one year because with one year you'll only get one year PGWP and with two years study visa you'll get three year PGWP which will actually give you ample amount of time to um, get the Canadian work experience and then you know get the PR in those three years okay now the third point about the French language none of these three points are easy I'm not saying that uh, doing it would be easy getting the Canadian PR is not at all easy and probably these are the three things only that you can do to get the Canadian PR you know maybe in a longer run but maybe you would get to Canada in a one or two years time if you do any of these three things so talking about the French language so if you're able to you know study French learn French I know it might be an alien language to you but if you're able to do that and if you're able to you know score good numbers in the competitive exams then there are high high chances that you would be picked from any of the PNP streams or maybe down the line your score would become so high that uh, whenever the draws get conducted you would be uh, you'd be getting the uh, invitation of course you would know about Quebec if you know French then getting the uh, nomination or the CSQ rather in case of uh, Quebec would be a lot easier but apart from Quebec as well if you have good score in uh, any of the French language test then your chances of getting the nomination from different streams of different uh, PNP programs would be much much higher even just from Ontario only we have seen multiple draws where they focus only on those people who know French so as I told you your revised strategy should include any of these three things a PNP nomination uh, then maybe the study route or maybe learning French and scoring in French tests as well thanks a lot for watching this video guys I really hope that information shared in this video would be helpful for you if you have any questions any comments please put it down in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video 